England do this before every game. The Irish players joining them on this occasion. Off we go then. And a rather unusual way to get the game started. Denise O'Sullivan in receipt from a very short kickoff. And it's forward by Ethan Mannion. And back to Walsh. And the angle delivery towards the back, towards bronze. Oh, chance and a goal. Laura James puts England in front. A little lapse in concentration, a little error, and Lauren James pounces and England take the lead. So fortunate, George, it's been such a, a positive start. I think England has shown their, their killer instinct and Lauren James comes up for the goal from him, but we have to reset now and go again. See the ball comes out, Kira Waltz to the back post, Lucy Bronze just nudges it down, deflects unfortunately off uh, Anna Patton. And, and Lauren James takes her opportunity. Not finishing among the uh, qualifying places, the automatic qualifiers, doesn't mean it's over because there's a playoff as well. Possibility. Katie McKay with the head of the way. And a shot then came in from uh, Jess Park. And she's given, has she given a penalty kick? Oh, well, that's very harsh. Yeah, that I is unbelievably it's harsh. A handball, I think, for Arusha. This day and age. You can interpret it one way, interpret it another, and the Finnish referees decided that was worthy of a penalty. Greenwood trying to keep her concentration facing Courtney Brosnan. And cool as you like, makes it two. Alex Greenwood from the spot. Perfectly dispatched penalty. Lauren Hemp facing Banyan. The cross almost reached. Another penalty. Another penalty. The cross came in, the challenge came in, it seemed to be effective, but the referee saw it as another handball. For a second handball, judged by the Finnish referee. Well, just as done, maybe. Obviously felt uh, brought yeah, on to Anna Patton, who's lost it to Lauren James. And James with the cross and meet at the back post. Oh, Brosnan, point blank save. Don't know that she knew too much about it, was straight at her, but at least she was in the right place. Here's Anna Patton and just a little cap. Lauren James wins the ball back, a little dink into. Bet me at the back post. So it's back Katie McKay. What does she do here? Looks like she's gone across it, George. McCabe's free kick, looking for Quinn at the back. Into the danger zone, a chance there. Oh, just would not come down for Caitlin Hayes. What a move. And how frustrating. Just would not come down for her. England were prized right open. Quinn back in there. Just wouldn't come down for Caitlin Hayes. Yeah, great. Straight from the tree. It's Katie McCabe. In goes Hayes. Saved by Hampton. Here's the earlier corner as well. And well work. Great time run by Caitlin Hayes. And um, Hammer Hampton's in the, in the right place at the right time. The noise has been pretty constant throughout. Great support from 32,000 plus. Nearer 33,032. Yeah, and the players are giving them something to cheer about here in the second half, and you can see England um, trying to waste time. And Katie McCabe could chase this, there's no infringement there. Kiernan's there, McCabe. And maybe the ball to Kiernan was the one to play. <laughs> what an incident that was. Yeah, great block by Katie McCabe, and I think she was unhappy that the ball wasn't played out. And chases it down and yeah you could say Leanne Kiernan was the option but Katie backs herself and, and look how deep England are trying to defend in the in the dying minutes of the game and it's Ireland now on the front foot Campbell's cross Quinn up but that's gone through harmlessly to Hampton and the four minutes have elapsed and that is that and it's a, a defeat but a, a defeat with honour yeah a very positive second half performance for me George I loved how Ireland stepped it came out of the second half pressed got forward the game came from the set piece, but that's our strength, we're playing on our strength.